What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the Prophet. And so today, man, we got a really special video for you guys, man. We're gonna be counting down the top 10 PvP characters for Bleach Brave Souls. Right now, the meta has pretty much shifted. Uh, we have some extremely potent SP characters in the meta right now, um, just changing stuff up all over the place. I'm going to be going over each character's best build, their true counter, their strengths and weaknesses, meaning like who they're best against, and uh, really. You know, how you go against the top tier units will depict how high you are. Shout out to this spotter homie Kotic because I did use some of his footage. I'll link his channel in the description below. But we're about to jump right into this video. We're about to get it popping. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. I said, damn it, let's get it lit. Drop my shit. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I got nothing to lose. Starting off with our honorable mention, Tensa White Zangetsu. Um, the reason that he made it as an honorable mention instead of just a uh, you know top ten character, actually, um, he does not have DR. And really his only utility is if he gets to weaken off even though he actually requires uh, less help from his status ailment than our number 10 unit the main reason why he didn't make it into the actual t uh, countdown is because his soul bomb does have weakened defense um, but really aside from that and doesn't really have a uh, whole many extra factors he does ha get a uh, 90% uh, increased normal attack damage towards uh, captains and then an additional, you know, 30% like against Red 2. So he gets 120% damage uh, against Red 2 with normal attacks. Uh, that's just his latent ability. But he does not have a DR link, but he's not a Soul Reaper. So that's kind of a good thing. But that's our honorable mention, Tensa White Zangetsu. Number 10, Kusaka. I forgot his last name, but um, Kusaka, we're going to get into him. He is the movie Diamond Death Rebellion Kusaka version. Um, really, his biggest strength is uh, his freezing ability, which we all know. Uh, his second biggest strength is the fact that he's DR. And his third biggest strength is that he has a Captain Killer ability. Um, he, I think he has like a 30% bruiser or, yeah, 30% bruiser. So nothing really major. Um... So he doesn't get as much core damage as Tensa White Zangetsu, but and and for you know for granted, I don't think his normal attack string is as good as White Zangetsu, but his soul bomb has the power to come. Speaking of soul bomb, his soul bomb has the power to completely freeze your ass, basically freeze lock you so that you can't do anything to him. Uh, his special doesn't have the greatest range; it's not full screen, but if he gets his freeze off against Retsu. Nine times out of ten, she's going down. Number nine. We got the big dog Flyzen. A lot of you guys, I don't know if you maybe expected to see him on the top ten, but he made it. Um, he does have an infinite boost. That's his, uh, his basically the best thing that he has. He also has a Soul Reaper killer, and he's also a technique attribute. Um, now, granted, he's a hollow and the soul reaper so anyone with hollow killer gets bonus damage against him uh and soul reaper as well but uh he has a 40 percent bruiser which is higher than most characters in general uh and uh he has obviously has friendly so you can run a dr chappy build you can run a dr sp build um or you know you can just run him hybrid however you want to do uh, he's best against broken that's basically what he was made to counter um, even though he doesn't always kill broken he does get him down a lot and he has infinite boost number eight bankai tensas and gets we got the bankai ichigo man this character just came out and i would just tell you guys a lot of people didn't really expect him as a very good pvp unit um, but some people kind of did. He does have Soul Reaper Killer. He has great latent stats. Um, you can really build this character any way you want. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't think that like full frenzy strong attack damage or, you know, going for a straight strong attack is going to win. 
Um, his third strong attack is slower than Retsu, which means he's always going to be interrupted. Uh, his boost will basically never get interrupted. Um, basically, oh, and the other best things about him is he has weakening resistance and paralysis resistance, which means Ukwior and Juha, they can never proc any statuses on him, um, among a lot of other characters. And that's actually Retsu's biggest weakness is that she is affected by status ailments. Number seven, we got Broken, the homie. This dude's been in the meta since been, since been, since been pimping, okay? Um, and he's still a very solid unit. Really, the only thing that he lacks is true real damage. Um, he does kind of get a little boost because he is Ukuyora's true counter, and it's really hard to counter Ukuyora. Um, you know, because he has weakening, he might proc that weakening on you, and it's not anything you can do. He has a boost, he has shield, so uh, uh, broken. He actually got a small, slight resurgence, even though he never left really. But um, he has a big role taking out people that are going to rape you with Ukuyora. Uh, that's just. Uh, it is what it is he has a boost and he has dr he's the only damage reduction character with the boost and he has flurry always a plus and at number six we got the big boy bomb kenny and i know what you guys are probably wondering how is bomb ken over broken i'll tell you very simply uh bomb ken kills way faster than broken um and especially with the resurgence of this new sp meta that we're on the cusp of you know with the poise uh frenzy units or even um tin barrier extremely broken high sp units um bon ken is an extremely pivotal part in the new sp meta um because he is mined so he will always help you do extra damage against a red suit um his true counter really is Retsu, but uh, you know, the thing that he does, he gets a lot of damage and then he gets out. So, um, with SP characters, you really need link slots, they rely on them to kill fast in a maximum or optimal build, if you will. Um, but SP characters are super, super potent and they're definitely making a comeback in the Brave Souls meta right now. Number five, Noitori Gilga. And same thing, I know you guys are probably wondering, yo Prophet, how is Noitora so high? I'll tell you right now, he still has the highest defense in the game, to my knowledge, uh, and he is the best flurry unit to go blow for blow against Retsu, in my personal opinion. He has um, basically 160% damage on her, uh, and she only gets 100% damage on him. Now, she has an innate 16% DR, but he still does more damage than her. Granted, Retsu is still a better unit, and in a head-to-head, -head, she should still kill him. But if you have the same team composition, if you have like a healer on your team, he will go blow to blow with the Retsu, and he will kill her a lot of the times. Um, and uh, I tested this, I've made plenty of videos about it, and it still works. If you don't have any of these other top tier units, definitely, man, slow your throw the best DR links and the best uh, attack items you can get on a Noitora and send him off against the Retsu, man. And let me know how he does. Noitora Gilga, best unit. He doesn't even need poise. We'll get into the next one. Number four, Juha Baha. Juha Bach. Juha Baha. Whatever you want to call the man, he's a god. Literally, he's a god of Quincy's. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering how the hell he's so high. The true, the true really thing is we haven't seen his true potential. The best build that this guy can get is three Sinkaimon Aizens. That's going to be 120% damage, strong attack damage. On top of his already 120% damage that he gets against Retsus or any mine captain. So he's going to have... 240% strong attack damage magnified against a red suit if you have three Senkaizen links, okay? This guy hasn't reached his full potential yet, but just look how fast he's killing the opposing team. Um, a lot of people were kind of underwhelmed with him. This character would have been over top of our next entry, but he relies way more on team composition and on the best build. If you have a trash build, he's going to perform trash. If you have a godly build, this dude is going to nerf your team's 
face, okay? That's no exaggeration. Like I said, man, look at the footage. Um, I'm actually gonna show more footage of him than really any other character for two reasons. He kills faster, and uh, may, uh, maybe we just need a little bit more proof. Shout out to the big homie Kotic. Uh, the Espada homie, um, I am using some of his footage, and I'm gonna link his channel below, man. This guy puts out some really good stuff. Uh, he's coming up on 500 subs, so make sure you guys subscribe to him. Like I said, I'll link that below. Um, Juha, man, he's a very, very great unit. You really, really need one or two other SP units alongside of him. You need link slots, one Senkaizen link at least if you want, and then full strong attack damage. He's a beast. Number three, Ukwi, you are the anniversary version. Um, as I said, I feel that Juha would have been a little bit over him, but simply said, man, Ukwi, he's like he's like a freaking Swiss army knife. This dude works almost any build. He works in almost any team composition, and he is your booster. Boosters are extremely pivotal, and he's the only poised frenzy unit with a boost. He will never outlive his usefulness. Um, you know, he does have a non-affiliation killer, but if he would have had any other killer, this dude would be busted, okay? He does have a barrier, which frenzy and flurry hits only count towards one uh, against that. Uh, you know, each frenzy hit only counts as one, so does flurry. Um, if you get him set up with the right build, he can beat red suits. He works chappy DR. He works full strong attack damage. He works just straight star unit and go for the soul bomb. Almost any build you can put on this guy, he will probably be successful. Like I said, depends on your team composition, but you want him to last as long as possible and do as much damage as possible. So, however you can build that in, chappy build works very well for him as well. Number two. One arm Yamamoto. When it comes to pure consistency, this guy is literally only matched by Retsu. And that is that's a fact. Um, that's a fact. I'm well, yeah, I mean, you know, he has burn, he has an extremely fast normal attack, he has flurry with the burn, which means he has two times the likelihood of proccing a burn. Um, he has very, very great strong attacks, which also have a chance to proc burn. Also, his special is a flaming vortex that stays on the screen for a long time, meaning if he gets the soul bomb, your team is virtually fucked. Um, yeah, man, overall, uh, he has he is a captain, so Retsu gets captain killer advantage against him. Um, and he, he also does have captain killer as well, so he does go very, very well head-to-head -head against Retsu. But she does normally out-DPS him, but if your Yama is built better than Retsu, you can even kill her, or even if you're proc a burn or two. Yamamoto, number two. Number one, the queen, Retsu, Unahana, Kenpachi. We already knew this, man. Come on now. Everybody knew number one. There's no pound for pound, stat for stat, skill for skill, better unit in PvP than Unahana, Kenpachi, Retsu. There's no other unit. Um, if, no, if you don't proc some kind of a status ailment on her, if you don't have a better build than her, you're not going to win. You're going to rely on... Hitting her from the sides, you know, damaging her from every lane possible. And she has an insta kill and a heal and DR and captain killer. And she has a super, super fast normal attack string. Um, one of the fastest in the game, if not the fastest. Um, like I said, man, there's no other unit that comes close to her in a 1v1 battle. Um, there are a couple units that are made to counter her and they just the requirements and the environments have to be so perfect for her to actually truly be countered granted you can beat red suits with a very nice amount of consistency but you need to have a broken ass op team with amazing composition and also synergy all around so you either want to kill her as fast as possible and then have your red suit left to finish her off or you just want to nuke her down as fast as possible or you can stop and wait for the soul bomb she has a full screen third strong attack that basically is almost instantaneous and then her second strong attack heals her and the party the insta kill on her super is the thing that makes her so damn broken she heals her full team and she can kill one of any of your teammates at any time i've had situations where i've had three people left and one red to alive she's either insta killed my full team 
Orin to kill two and healed herself and then killed the rest of them, man. So, like I said, you guys already pretty much knew that was coming. Let me know how you guys felt about the list. Comment. Let me know where your favorite character was or if they didn't make the list. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it supports the channel so much. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Profit Nation, I love y'all. I'm out this mother...